Hello everyone, we're back again with another critique video. Today on the channel we have Frank Tofano. I've never actually touched Frank Tofano on this channel, but it's about time that I do so. He has a relatively small following after he betrayed the carnivore community. When I say betrayal, I'm being a little facetious and flippant. He betrayed science, is what he did, when he made his inappropriate errant transgression to, effectively, an organic standard American diet. That's what you eat, Frank. But anyway, we're gonna just jump right into this video called Sugar is Good for You? Exclamation point question mark. Well, <laughs> no. But anyway, before we jump into the video, please subscribe to the Patreon if you haven't already. I have a $2 month tier, a $5 month tier, and an $8 month tier in order to gain access to one week early uploads, one extra video per week, ad-free content, uncensored content, and if you haven't bought my book Contraindicated, please go ahead and buy that. Link is in the description below. That is out now. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. This anti-sugar crusade isn't making anyone healthier. It actually, in many cases, is, especially people with diabetes, that being a disease characterized exclusively as chronically elevated blood sugar and nothing else, a disease that is measured as such and diagnosed as such, but okay. Popularity of Diet Coke, keto-style foods, low-carb, all of these sugar substitutes, People are low carb isn't a sugar substitute per se. The former two things are not exactly indicated for human physiology. And I don't exactly condone those. I especially don't condone diet soda, especially diet coke, aspartame, which by the way, I wrote about extensively in my book in chapter four. Please go ahead and once again buy that. Aspartame breaks down into methanol, which is wood alcohol. It's not the same thing as ethanol, which is drinking alcohol. It's the entire origin of the term blind drunk. It makes you blind. Does that mean aspartame will make you blind? No. Each time that you drink aspartame or consume aspartame, it is vastly small of an amount relative to how much is required to cause blindness. But there is such a thing called accrual. So you speculate what you wish to with this information. Poisoned. Regular Coca-Cola high sugar soda from an organ health longevity perspective is better for you than those substitutes. Better for you. That's a value judgment statement. You made that up. There are no studies to inform upon whether a food is better, quote unquote, for someone that you just referred to. The science that you just referred to, where's the science, Frank? There's also no science to prove that regular Coca-Cola from an organ health standpoint is more salubrious. These are opinions. But see, the difference is, Frank, your opinions are rooted in theology, errant theology. Mine, as well as many other people within this space and my viewers, opinions are based and predicated upon genuine hard science, which is inherently reductionist, quote unquote. It actually necessarily allows for the isolation of a variable. So anyway, they're both toxic. How about we just leave it at that? You shouldn't eat or drink either. Do I really need to explain to you, Frank, why sugar is damaging, exogenously speaking? I hope not. Your gut bacteria, the microbes inside of you, eat carbohydrates, sugar. How do you know that, Frank? How do you know what my specific gut bacteria that I harbor within my gut eat? How do you know that, Frank? You don't. The gut microbiome adjusts to what the diet you are eating is, and it does so in an innocuous, benign fashion if you approach a carnivorous diet, let's say, in this instance, prudently and sensibly, and in a calculated, tactical, measured fashion, Frank. The gut bacteria that feed off of sugar and fiber, etc., etc., will die off. There is no evidence that those bacteria are salubrious or indicated to actually be harboring, Frank. So no, you don't know this. And in fact, mine do not. It's their fuel to stay alive. No, cover that. You drink chemical sweeteners instead of sugar, the gut bacteria has nothing to eat, and in most cases, the rest of the meal is so poisoned, you develop an unhealthy gut microbiome. Well, there's still no evidence for that. That's an opinion. And your opinion may very well be correct, but you have to state that as an opinion. You have to make that clear, or at least you should. You don't have to do anything. I'm not condoning people consume diet soda. Absolutely not. But it has nothing to do with gut bacteria. If anything, if you drink diet soda all the time, there will be gut bacteria that grow that are meant to withstand and feed off of whatever chemicals are in that soda. <laughs> people are blaming the sugary soda instead of the highly inflammatory foods people are eating, vegetables. Oh, like sugar? Like sugar, Frank? Sugar necessarily causes inflammation. Let's take glucose, the prototypical sugar, the one that the body creates endogenously on its own. Glucose, exogenously speaking, is a toxin. Why? Because it is an aldehyde. It is an aldohexose, six carbon. Aldehydes and aldehyde functional groups have the propensity to destroy lipid rafts, tear cell membranes to pieces, bind to DNA and cause mutations to it, and in a high enough concentration will kill cells outright. Absolutely. They do this by forming covalent bonds with proteins within your body. 
not just proteins though. Hemoglobin, for example, it's what the A1C measures. That necessarily causes inflammation. Why? Because inflammation is a pre-programmed response that occurs within the body when it has perceived damage to tissues, number one, which glucose I just elucidated causes, or a potential invading pathogen, which after glucose deranges proteins, the body views those proteins as foreign and therefore potential pathogens. So glucose causes inflammation through both mechanisms, Frank. Chronic systemic inflammation is the primary driver and cause of every major killer in the world right now, or at least in the Western world, soon to be the entire world. Just ridiculous, Frank, that you don't understand this. And you don't want to either. Oils, chemical preservatives. Yes, the seed oils and the preservatives do also cause inflammation. It doesn't mean that sugar is completely exonerated here and that you should exculpate it like you are right now. Negative flavorings that plague almost every meal. Next time you get fast food, try having a regular soda and a plain burger. Instead Don't do that. Of a Diet Coke with fries. Okay, you shouldn't do that either. Don't do either of them. Much better you feel. Even if you simply feel better, that does not mean that what you did was indicated. Sorry, I feel better after taking ibuprofen, given my inflammatory condition that is still extant to some degree. Does that mean that I should be taking ibuprofen all the time? No, it doesn't, Frank. So just absolute nonsense. A quick little terse brief video here. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and also once again, subscribe to the Patreon if you haven't already, and buy my book, Contraindicated, A Closer Look and Revision of Mainstream Health Axioms That Have Perpetuated Illness, Disorder, and Disease for Over a Century as well if you haven't already once again. And also speaking of inflammation, if you're further trying to ameliorate inflammation and you've already adopted a carnivorous diet bereft of any plant material or carbohydrates to speak of, I would recommend referring to the link on the screen below, the Cerule link. And before doing that, I would recommend learning about those products by referring to the video in the top right corner of the screen called Cerule Products if it decides to show up in the top right corner of the screen. If not, it is in the description below. As well as the interview between myself and Professor Bart K elucidating and explaining these products in thorough detail as well as the business of Cerule itself. So please go ahead and refer to that link below to save 10% when signing up for monthly deliveries. And also email me at edgoki14 at gmail.com if you have any questions and or would like to know how to receive those products for free because of course who wouldn't want those products for free. So with that being said, join me next time when we react to someone that has absolutely no clue what they're talking about and espouses and spouts a bunch of errant nonsense like Frank Schiff here. So, till then.